Hello, this is Scott Hanson with the Dell Enterprise Technology Center. Today we will demonstrate the Dell Power Edge 11th generation lifecycle controller. We are now looking at a Dell Power Edge T610 through the iDRAC KVM. To access the lifecycle controller, simply press F10 during the boot process to enter the system services. The lifecycle controller allows you to configure hardware settings, RAID configuration, and deploy the OS all without CDs or DVD ISOs. We are now in the Unified Server Configurator Lifecycle Controller. Let's take a look at the hardware configuration. We have Configuration Wizards and Advanced Configuration. We'll look at Configuration Wizards first. This is the physical server security configuration we can control access to the system control panel on the front. Uh, system date and time configuration. Here we can change the date and time. Our time is actually off by an hour so we'll change it. Click finish. The iDRAC configuration. Here we can enable or disable the iDRAC LAN as well as IP IPMI. It will also show us the MAC address and the NICS selection where we can have dedicated or shared access. We also have context sensitive help. Here this shows us help that's uh, relevant to this portion of the configuration. And under advanced LAN configuration, we can configure the VLAN ID or the speed of the adapter. Will give us the common IP configuration on the next screen. The next screen will give us our IP configuration. Here we've set it to static and given it a permanent address. We also have configuration for IPv6 and our virtual media configuration where we can attach the virtual media and enable or disable the virtual flash. The next screen allows us to set the iDRAC root user account. And the last screen will show a summary. When we click apply, yes, after we click apply, the screen will show us the status. Uh, we have not changed anything, so the status shows unchanged. Click finish. For the RAID configuration, this machine has the onboard uh, SAS 6 integrated RAID controller. We have a current virtual disk configuration which it shows. If there were other controllers, they would show in this menu. So we'll click next. We can change from RAID level 0 or RAID level 1 with this controller. We'll select RAID level 1 on the following screen. We'll be able to select the physical disk for this RAID. We'll simply select the first two. And here we can change the virtual disk attributes and assign a hot spare. So we will, we will assign a hot spare. Click next and it gives us a summary. And here we will click finish. We actually have a current configuration with an OS installed, so I'll click cancel on this one. Back up a few screens to the top. And under advanced configuration, and system BIOS settings, uh, this section will expose all of the BIOS settings. And here we've sped it up so you can simply see the plethora of BIOS settings. So everything that we configure in the regular BIOS we can configure here. All right, going back to the screen with our advanced configurations, we have the Broadcom NICs under the firmware 
information, we see the, the images. We get the exact version and boot code of the firmware image. These NICs are also iSCSI enabled. So we look at the iSCSI boot configuration menu. Here's where we can configure the iSCSI general parameters. Configure the uh, address via DHCP, TAP authentication, uh, boot to iSCSI targets. And then we can also configure the uh, target parameters for those boot devices. So there you go, that gives a quick overview of the lifecycle controller on the Dell PowerEdge 11th generation servers. If you need further information or further demos, please visit DellTechCenter.com. Thank you.